let's jump straight into color management. We're going to assume that you've made all your adjustments and that you are happy with your layout and composition. Open the color management tab under general settings. For color mode, there are a range of options for you to choose from in the drop down menu. The first one we will cover is use ICC profile. ICC profiles allow the printer to utilize its color space and print in a wider gamut. So let's select this and move on to printer profile. By selecting auto, the software and printer will detect and apply a Canon ICC profile based on your image and the printer you've got connected. However, you do have the option to select your preferred ICC profile and even download external profiles to apply, which appear in the drop-down menu. This is particularly useful if you are using a warmer tone paper. You can then use an ICC profile to adjust for this, so your print is still spot on. The second color mode option is driver matching. This mode tells your printer to print the closest match to images shot in the JPEG format, which are in the sRGB color space. We recommend that you avoid making corrections and other edits in image editing softwares as much as possible when printing using driver matching. And no color correction explains itself, printing your file as is using the printer's native color attributes. It is worth noting that this is a useful option if you need to troubleshoot if you find you're having issues with your prints. And finally, black and white photo tells your printer it can prioritize its monochrome inks. With a stable gray, balance is achieved since more gray ink and black ink are used compared to color printing. So black and white photos are printed with rich gradation and little color shift. You can add a warm or cool tone to your black and white image too by returning to the color settings tab. And you can test variations using pattern print, which will now show tone X, Y options. We're going to change the color mode to use ICC profile so that we can access the rendering intent options. The perceptual setting aims to preserve the overall visual impression of colors in an image. It will map out of gamut or clipped colors to the closest match printable colors, then adjust the other colors to preserve the relationship between them. The relative color metric setting maps out of gamut colors to the printer's nearest reproducible colors, but doesn't alter in gamut colors. You may get slightly less saturated colors, but brightness values will be most stable with this rendering intent. This makes it the ideal choice for near neutral and black and white images. If you opt to use relative color metric, consider enabling black point compensation. By ticking this, it will help you achieve richer blacks, particularly if you're printing on very absorbent papers. Black point compensation adjusts the tone of the image so that the darkest point in the image matches the darkest point of the printer's ICC profile. It should not be needed if you choose perceptual. It should also not be required if you're using Canon papers and the built-in ICC profiles. Once you're ready to go and have your preferred options locked in, all that's left to do is hit the print button.